Over where? Right here in front of my video camera. Am I being detained? Right now, I want to find out why you're looking at these cars in case you might be breaking into cars later. Am I being detained, sir? Is that like crap to you guys? Information? It's you not can't a crap. just be like no, a but anytime hello we have, citizen. Look, anytime How are you we have, doing? Anytime Sorry, we excuse have... me, I'm talking. I mean, I'm not giving you my ID. You're not, you're not IDing me. There's no crime. You're not allowed. And you're lying. You're a great supervisor. You sure you're a supervisor? Welcome back to CT3, where we highlight clips and I'll recap with a few educational pointers to ensure your rights aren't violated on your next encounter with a cop. How you doing today? Sir? How you doing? Good, good. Just checking around. You walking around? You looking for somebody? No, I'm not looking for anybody. Oh, wait, just checking around, man. Like I said, we tried to get this lot secure and whatnot. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Police cars and all. No one knows about breaking in. That's all. Take care of yourself. You too. You're curious? Uh -huh. what, what's your name and badge number? I'm Officer Cordell with Germantown Police Department. Will you sit tight right there for me? Yeah. yeah. I'm curious as to why you're walking around the patrol vehicles and holding your phone as if you're recording looking into them. What is your oh. nature and what is your business? Oh, 712. That's, that's exactly what I'm doing, officer. I'm recording okay. the police vehicles. Okay. Stand by what I'm speaking to the yeah, All right, well, what's your name? That way, oh, in case these cars come I, I don't give out any private information. Oh, I, okay, well, I'm going to need your information. Yeah, if these cars, okay. these cars get broken into, I'm going to need your information. Okay? Right, do you suspect me of committing a crime, sir? Well, sir, you're walking around looking in these cars, and I'm trying to make sure none of that's going to happen. Is that a crime, sir? Well, I'm trying to make sure it's not going to happen. So go that's, ahead with it. That's not a crime, sir. Okay, go ahead with your information. I, 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 I only sure. provide my information okay. when you suspect me of committing a crime. You need well, reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime, sir. Suspicion is not a crime. Uh, give me a second. Sure thing. Will you stay over here by my uh, video camera, please? Stay over where? Right here in front of my video camera. Am I being detained? Right now, I want to find out why you're looking at these cars in case you might be breaking into cars later. Am I being detained, sir? Yeah, that's why we're trying to figure out. Am right? I being detained? Is there any reason why you're doing that? Can you give me a good answer? Am I being detained, sir? I'm just asking, can you give me a good answer why you're looking at cars? Am I right being now? detained, oh. sir? I mean, you checking up on me before? That's yeah, all good. Well, that's all well, good. But hopping out, and then I saw you kind of looking at patrol cars, recording. So I'm trying to make sure again, you're yeah. not looking to case these vehicles to break into because we have had people do that. You've so had they, people break into yeah, police absolutely, police absolutely. cars. Yes, sir. We've had that. So that's why on a police like parking that. lot. Okay. Yeah. Believe it or not. Uh, has it happened before? Like that, I know, right? It's wild. I doubt that's ever happened. Okay. Well, hey. I can look into it. To, okay. Good for you. Well, again, that's why I'm trying to get your information to make sure in case anything happens. Like I say, have spoken. They're not going to get my information today, officer. Now, sit tight on that one, okay? Sit, sit tight, tight on that one. I'm going to speak to my lieutenant. We'll, yeah. We'll get to you're, the you're not going to get my information. I'm going to come in my car just out of the way. I'm going to stand where I'd like, please. Thanks. Okay. I'd appreciate right, well, it. For who? I just want to know who you spoke with, sir. Our captain. Oh, okay. Yep. Can you mind if I get your name and badge number? My name is Officer Foley, 0695. Thank you. The, and, the, and the captain you spoke with? Uh, he just said, I, I don't know which captain was. We just got a, uh, I called call my lieutenant. He said, the captain said you can walk around with our cars or whatever. All right. I just wanted to make sure that, just in case, because he doesn't seem too happy that I'm recording. Yeah. I just got a phone call, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. That you came over here, Officer Poli. And you saved you save the day, because I, I didn't know what this guy was going to do, to be honest. Oh, no, he's fine. Okay, I, ho I hope so. <laughs> he's a good guy, you're good. I hope yeah, so. I'm a good guy, too, I promise. I'm All not right. here with any nefarious purposes or anything like that. Yep. Officer Foley. All right, well, thank you, sir. Better not pull that, uh, that notepad out anymore, because you're not getting my name.
No, that's fine. I appreciate it. Like I said, he wasn't giving me much, you know, to work with as far as why he was afraid to walk into the police car. But I appreciate it. Thanks for that. Alright. Well, cool, man. Alright, well, like I said, just obviously you're recording us, we're recording you, so hopefully, you know, nothing else comes up back here, alright? So take care of yourself. Be careful. Yeah. Told you weren't going to get my name or information. Nothing. I'll smile for you. That'll work, man. That way, in case anything comes up, like I said, all right? I'll smile for you. You'll have a, you'll have a, you'll have a picture with no name. Be careful. <laughs> great, great investigative work there, buddy. Here's the deal. If you're in a public space, you have the right to document what you see. No curiosity from an officer is enough to demand ID without reasonable suspicion of a crime. The First Amendment protects freedom of the press, and the Fourth Amendment protects against unreasonable searches and seizures. What's even more troubling is how this officer escalated things by pulling out a notepad, ready to demand information he had no legal right to ask for. According to Terry Viz Ohio, police need clear, articulable suspicion of criminal activity before stopping or detaining someone. Filming in a public space isn't a crime, so the officer's insistence on ID was an overreach. Instead of respecting this citizen's right to observe taxpayer-funded property, he chose intimidation disregarding federal and state laws protecting public activities. It's crucial to know the boundaries of reasonable suspicion and lawful detainment. Without a clear, specific reason to believe someone is committing a crime, an officer has no grounds to ask for ID. In the end, the supervisor stepped in and confirmed that filming in public is entirely within the citizen's rights, leaving the officer with no choice but to back down. This incident proves, once again, that standing firm on your rights is essential. Let's keep going. The guys over here. This guy's truck running. I hope it's not unlocked because anybody could just jump in that and kill people with this vehicle. But we'll see. Let's we'll see what happens. <laughs> we have two friends down over here. Building was open today. It's not open with the holiday. Even though it's Friday, huh? Uh, they observe the holiday either okay. the Friday right. or the Monday. Right. Depending on Saturday or Sunday. So just a police station open today then? Is yes. the library open? I'm not sure. You could check over there. Probably they're not. Separate from us. Oh, are they? I thought, isn't that the same building now? It's the same building, but, but they're the separate side. from us. They have oh, their okay. own hours and operations. Okay. Yeah, so where are you guys heading off to? Um, making contact with you. Oh, you came out purposely to make contact with us. Of our building. So nice. you're here for a reason. What's up? What can I help you with? Yeah. I'm just observing, see what our police do on the daily and how they prepare to go out and stuff. Just, uh, you know, recording, you know, the daily routines of officers for unknown reasons. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Well, can I get your names? Uh, you could if I cared to give it. All right. Well, if you don't want to get it, could I ask you to please move along? Well, again... This, this isn't an area that we have people... There isn't really out. any signage that states that we can't be back here. It just says we can't with, park. Can you take that up with my supervisor? Actually, you can take it up with your supervisor. Yeah, could you do Would that? Would you like me to get them here? Well, you don't need to. I'm just saying... Well, I'm asking you a simple question, so please move along, so and you're not okay with that. Well, no, so I'm, I'll get I'm my supervisor. Now, the real problem is, is if you don't want people back here, then you need to post it. I will bring that up the, that, chain that's that's the, I will bring that up the chain of command. I will bring it up the chain of command. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Look, I will bring it up to my chain of command, <laughs> but I don't understand why you're giving me a problem. We're not. I'm asking you nicely. To we're not giving you a problem. All, we don't expect you. to be given a problem. We're right. just, you know, we're out here. We're not doing anything it's wrong. public property. We're, we're walking through. We, we we're filming freely. We respect all signage, and unfortunately for you guys, there is no signage saying we can't beat that here. Can you just document an incident? I have two white males on the side of the building refusing to move on. Refusing so, is a different term. We're having a conversation here. Yeah. No friend. 
There's no refusing, no. you know. No. We'll happily move along. Then please do so. Especially again, since you won't give me your information. Like, why would, what, is that like crap to you guys? Information? It's you not can't a just crap. be like no, a but anytime hello have, citizen. Look, anytime How we you have, doing? Anytime Sorry, we excuse have, me, I'm talking. We, you know, we, we f***ed up by not putting signs out here. We know we're stupid. Nobody's we should do better that. than that. Okay, you okay, if you don't have a want us back us. there. So what no, is it why that would you, you want? Say what, can like I help that? you with something? Why would you even say something like that? Why would you slander somebody like that? Because that's what you you're that? doing. No, I'm not. That's we're what saying, you're doing. If I'm you asking don't you to want please us move back along. here, then put signs I told up. you I'll bring it up to my chain of command, but in the meantime, I need you to move along. But now therein lies the problem is why do we need to move along? Because you're not allowed over here to just hang but out. But if we're not allowed over here to hang out, then you need to put signs up. The proper up. sign, it should be up, that's you know. Anybody could wander in here. Into consideration and bring it up my chain of command. How you doing, buddy? Like, imagine. You can't put a sign out right this second. Yeah. Uh, like, of course not. Well, right. Wait, wait, wait. right the on. The problem is that we don't have signage. They want to we were just observing we wear right. our the everyday routines. You guys can go inside. Have a good day. Thank right, you. Right, right, right on. Right on. Attorney. We got cameras out here. Right. Attorney General's Directive 2021 11. Eleven. It just it was just announced about a week or two ago. The walk of shame right there. Hey uh, Danielle. Hey Danielle. I got it. Got good, it? good. Got Thanks, it. man. Thanks a lot. So again, Appreciate you. Walking through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no nothing. It's nothing nefarious time. or anything. Power tripping and stuff right. like that. Yeah, it's not cool. It should never really happen. Hopefully, they're coming back out to apologize to us and to. Turn the car off at least. You coming back out to apologize for the way you treated us? No? Yes? Sir, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. What was your name? Chief Joe. Have a good day. I'm sorry they wasted your time, sir. Uh, yeah, you might want to train them a little bit better because they're way out of control. Ego filled maniacs. Thank you for your cooperation. Ego filled. First, unless a public area has clear no trespassing signs or restricted access notices, citizens have every right to be there. In New Jersey, officers need lawful grounds to restrict public access or to enforce trespassing laws, and in this case, they had neither. Instead of explaining or de-escalating, officers relied on intimidation, which only exposes their lack of understanding or respect for First Amendment rights. The Supreme Court's ruling in Houston v. Hill supports this right, stating that citizens are allowed to verbally question police actions without fear of retaliation. This is classic ego-driven policing, where feelings replace facts. When officers choose confrontation over conversation, they push people further from seeing law enforcement as a source of protection. If you're in a public area, filming, observing, or just standing around, police have no right to remove you without proper legal justification. In the end, after some back and forth, the officers realized they had no legal basis to enforce their demands. They eventually backed off, leaving without issuing citations or making arrests. And let's keep going. Hello, good morning. Good morning. I'm Officer Kenny with the California Air Patrol. You officer? Officer Kenny, K-E-N-N-Y, the California Air Patrol, badge number 23146. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, from my understanding, you don't want to ID yourself to my partner right here. From your understanding? Yeah. Oh. You want to give me your ID, ask your ID. For what? Correct. For what? So he, he's detained you for a violation. What What was that? What violation? He's digging his, himself a hole already. Go ahead. What, what, just, what violation did you detain him for? Expired yeah. registration. So he's detained you for expired registration. So you are required to hand over your ID to him, okay? Okay. Because he has to ID you. Even if he wants to give you a warning, he has to know who you are. Yeah, keep, 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 keep two minutes to lie. Okay, yeah. So I'm not going to ID myself. You're not going to ID yourself? No, no. You have to leave you got to do yourself, but we're gonna have to arrest you and take you to jail. We're gonna ID you. Okay, you have to take me to jail for my for not refusing ID. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to. Okay, do. okay. If you don't want to have to do that. Okay. You don't want to do that. Yeah, okay? I know you don't. <laughs> I love it. Go ahead. Yeah. Be detailed. Why don't you want to give us your ID? Why do you keep asking? I just told you you're not having it. It's illegal. You're illegal. Stop me. You stop me. That you can't give somebody stop somebody for a tag that's like older than 90 days, less than 90 days. You just change that law. Okay. Yeah. Stop somebody for a tag that's like older than 90 days, less than 90 days. You just change that law. So, why don't you go fight some crime? And then he just told me he's checked it out and it's been paid, so it's legal. No, the shows are, he's on fire. Yeah, see, so there you go. So, thank you. So, you want to arrest me for that? So, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, okay? So, he's detained he, he, for he, something. For something? No, he just told you what I'm detained for. I'm not yeah. detained as it happens because you can't detain me for that. So, what's your problem anyway? Do you have something that, I mean, look at it. Like, I mean, I'm not giving you my ID. Okay. 
You know, you're not IDing me. There's no crime. You're not allowed. And you're lying. You're a great supervisor. You sure you're a supervisor? I'm going to talk to you. Yeah, you let him, yeah, go ahead. Let's see who else they call out. See if they call someone else out. It's fucking awesome. Fucking lawsuit. <laughs> look at them, just, they're just looking for stuff to do. This is, this is what California is now. The, the, the pigs, what they do here. Trying something, trying to get something for nothing. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't know they changed the law. Oh, oh, you didn't? Uh, nope. Yeah. Well, you'll be, you'll be hearing from me. I'll okay. go to the sheriff's office right now. It's here on the. Okay. Get some complaint forms. Okay. Is that where I get them from? Uh, we're not part of the sheriff's. We're with the highway patrol. Yeah, highway patrol. And where would that be? Down the street. Uh, down the street. Down the street. South so our office is closed right home. now. So you're gonna have to go Monday morning. Okay. I'll be there on Monday morning. All first right. thing. Can you let them know? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, right. Mr. Tyrants. Stay safe. Thank you. You'll be hearing. It's awesome. This is what they do. Taxpayers wasted money. Off you go. Four of them. This interaction is riddled with violations of constitutional rights. We see an officer approach a driver and demand their ID, claiming the stop is due to an expired registration tag. The driver pushes back, questioning the legitimacy of the stop, especially since California recently adjusted laws about expired tags. The so-called expired tag that was later confirmed to be valid, making the demand baseless from the start. The officer's demand for ID without a solid legal basis goes against the Fourth Amendment, which protects individuals from unreasonable searches and seizures. Delaware versus Prouse reaffirms that officers can't pull someone over solely to check their registration without a specific suspicion of a crime. Furthermore, under California law, a driver is not required to provide ID unless there's probable cause or a traffic infraction that actually necessitates it. The kicker? After the officer's empty threats of arrest, he eventually let the driver go with no charges, just proving that there was no lawful ground for the stop. Incidents like these showcase a lack of respect for legal boundaries and the need for more accountability. Remember, you don't owe officers your ID without just cause, and you have every right to challenge these overreaches if they happen to you. But that's going to do it for this video. Much love to these awesome creators. Again, make sure you use the links in the description to go check out their channels and show them some love. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next episode.